Before I go into the solution, which is the REM unit, I just don't want to poop on the M too much. It is a super useful unit. And after we've seen these two and we understand what a REM is, I'm going to go into when we might want to choose which one and hopefully make all of it a lot more clear on why both of these are super useful and super important when we start thinking responsibly. So the REM is an M, but it's short for root M. And what does that mean? Well, it means it's always, instead of being relative to the parent, like the M is, it's always relative to the root of our document. And I've used the word root a few times. And the root of an HTML page is always the HTML element itself. That's where a lot of the defaults are coming from, even though we haven't actually been styling that in our CSS up until now. So you might be wondering, how does this make our life easier? And let's go and take a look at how. So remember right now we get these giant sizes coming. And even though this is set to 2M and this is set to 2M, this one is getting gigantic. It's getting out of control because it's 2M times 1.5M and it's scaling up and it's a compounding factor that's going on. Whereas if we use root M, we lose that. So on my font sizes here, I'm going to switch that to an REM instead of an M. And the same thing here and the same thing here and the same thing on my headings. And let's go and take a look at it right away without doing anything else. And look at that. This font size is now the same as this font size. And this is a lot bigger than this one, but that's because I do have my font size set to one and a half rem here. So this font size will be bigger. I guess we can get rid of that comment because it doesn't really apply anymore. Um, and here we used to have that double compounding factor that was going on. My list item was compounding through this, which was then compounding again through that. If I take this off now and we take a look, it's going to look exactly the same because it's just set to that one size that's relative to the HTML element. But you remember that cool thing with M's when I changed the font size on my body and everything just worked around that and sort of scaled up and down with that one unit. So it's almost like M's and REMs are almost like creating a scale instead of creating these set font sizes. So what we can do is on our HTML element, we can set a font size on here. So I'm gonna set a font size of 10 pixels. And we go and take a look at what that's done everything has shrunk down. Everything on this page has gotten a lot smaller. And if I come on the HTML element here and I make this 30 pixels, everything will have gotten much, much, much bigger, except for this paragraph. Why hasn't that paragraph gotten bigger? What's going on? Can you figure it out? So if you remember the paragraph is inheriting its font size. The section two doesn't have a font size on it. Nothing that it is contained except for the body has it. And this is an absolute unit. It's not relative to anything. We have this in the pixel. So this is where it's sitting and it will not change. So we've, so what we've managed to do, so if we switch this over from that to 1M, and then by 1M, I do mean 1REM. For font size, I'm always going to stick with REMs. And you can see here what's happened is everything is going to keep that nice scaling feature where everything is scaling up or down with something else without the possibility of running into that compounding issue. Now, the one thing I wouldn't actually do is set a set font size on my HTML element like this. Usually I'm just leaving it at the default or I might use a percentage if I need to play with it. And you'll see some people recommend setting the percentage really low here to shrink things. Um, if you set it to 62.5%, uh, this makes the default, which was 16, now become 10. So when you, instead of having to think of one rem as 16 pixels, and then it's hard to do math, like what's 16 times 1.5, um, it's easy now because this is 10, and then that becomes 10. So this is 20, and this is 15. It makes it much easier to think that way. I don't do that. I did for a little while because it is easier, I will admit. But after some time, you really do get used to working on the scale of 16 pixels. And when you need to scale this up, and you're going to see when we start getting into mobile, um, when we start doing different designs, you're going to have... On a mobile screen, you're probably going to have a smaller font size. And then when you get to a bigger screen, you will up the font size. So you can up the scale on it. But instead of using the percentage, maybe you just keep this at 100 as the default. And then at the bigger size, you just bump it up to 110 and everything or 120 and everything just scales up with it. So I tend to just not even bother with this. And I leave my REMs like that and play around with it. And I've gotten used to doing that. And that's how I'm gonna be working throughout the rest of this course. So you will get a chance to see, and I'm gonna explain myself every time I'm using these units, especially for the next little while while we're doing them, including in the next video where I'm gonna explain that M's still do have a purpose. And we're gonna see what the purpose is and how I decide between M and REM and what my rule of thumb for them is.